Good morning. This is Mark Sebastian with the Option Pit AM Volatility Report. Reminder, starting next Wednesday, one week from today, the Option Pit Boot Camp, four days, nine plus hours of awesome stuff. Plus, you can see a replay of my special Saturday class there. All right, right here. Um, so just, we're limited to 200 students. It's going to be a blast. And uh, if you're looking to really learn options, take this course. Uh, looking at the market, well, we started out uh, we started out a little bit ugly overnight. Things have looked real ugly, and we have since recovered. The fact that the S&P is just flat is borderline shocking because things were really ugly overnight. So. Um, where the market could go, nobody really knows. Um, but you know, they did a little bit of a vol smash into the close yesterday, and it's kind of held fast. So my guess is we probably are looking near at near lows now, and we may meander higher. Um, really depends on the financials. The financials are definitely weak, um, especially Goldman looking weak, and uh, you know. JP Morgan could be looking better. I'm actually surprised it's not, but you know those those are certainly weak. And then uh, if you follow the biotechs, um, you know after the Hillary body slam, uh, they're down some, but uh, I, again I still think there's room for them to recover. Um, you know Amgen is one that we kind of put on the strategy letter against some BXX. And if you look at VXX, certainly off the highs from yesterday, and might be a, you know might be an interesting one over the next few days. But uh, my general feeling is we'll be up on the day, so I might look to enter VXX toward the end of the day. Uh, and then you know there are a few other uh, a few other names floating around Facebook and. Uh, Facebook and uh, you know a few of the, the tech names seem like they're recovering after kind of getting slapped around yesterday. So those are kind of the major things I'm watching. Looking at the VIX itself, um, the VIX is has a nice flat term structure. Uh, no DEES, but it's still in, in a contango, or it's, it's still backward, which points toward the market still under stress and not a great reason to get in the market. Uh, if you're looking to play short ball, I think the better way to do it is with like puts in BXX or calls in SVXY rather than trying to buy XIV and pick a bottom. Uh, XIV is a great trade once things are back in a contango, uh, but until then, I think it's a stay away. Uh, again, on the day, I think this, the SPX will, will run a little bit higher and run a little bit hot from here. Um, so on that note, I hope everybody has a great morning. Uh, if you got questions about this stuff, call me Mark at or email me Mark at and call me eight 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 trade zero one. Talk to you soon.